I, I wonder how you found each other to, to do this. Good did question. You know, <laughs> did, did you? I hadn't have thought of that, actually, yeah. It's I think that's like... really uh, come from the producer, uh, Judith DePaul. Uh, I yeah, think it was her idea to, to put us together and uh, see what happened. <laughs> did, you find, <laughs> did you find him as macho as he's made out to be? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> did you? <laughs> What all particularly? These, <laughs> all these different guises, especially when he was wearing the, the tux or the, the hair slicked back. Oh, there was just no holding him. <laughs> yeah. No, with greasy hair like that, no. <laughs> Yes, no, I mean, I, I had a lot of fun and I, I'd love to go on and do some more, you know. Um, I think Judith wants to do another series of them. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Elaine's going to be available, but it'd be great. We had a fantastic time. Well, we're dying to see it. It's on Bank Holiday Monday, isn't it? 9 what? p.m. Yes. 9 p.m. Mm. 9 p.m. <laughs> Bank Holiday Monday. We'll come back and talk to you about lots more. Yeah, so like the dancing. I want to hear about him dancing as well. Frank's desperate to know <laughs> about you. <laughs> I must hear him sing and dance. Yes. <laughs> but you see, that's, that's absolutely amazing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Thank Bob has now broken that. Anybody else? And there we are. Look at that. Uh, that's ridiculous, isn't yeah. it? Uh, well, look. Yes, it is. Let's uh, try a piece. Yes. Can we try a piece? Yes. <laughs> yes, we will be showing this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> clearly, the one on the end there is for Mother's Day. Oh. <laughs> Fine. Well, just before we leave that, is actually... so, isn't it really exercising like that? It's not the sort of thing they expect. Mm. Mind you, that's what actors are. <laughs> um, you've asked me to comment on it. I really can't think of an answer, uh, except that let's hope that the play is aptly named, you know. Yes. Oh, whatever's going on down there. Um, Americans are weird anyway, and uh, the critics are normally the ones to kill a show. Yes. And if they're pro and uh, the public in the street are pro, I just can't understand it. Yeah, but Elaine, the critics here have uh, praised the show to the skies, say so it's a wonderful piece of yes, it's Shakespeare and acting. It's most odd. Maybe it's something to do with the, the length of the performance or something, you know. I think uh, yes, perhaps having, having seen Nicholas Nickleby, <laughs> which, uh, yeah. although that was a wonderful uh, play, it was extraordinarily yeah. long. And I think possibly sometimes people think, oh, I, I don't know that, you know, I certainly felt that way when I went, went to see it. I think yeah. I don't know that I'm actually going to be able to sit through eight hours of, of something. But, uh, but you're in the area of, uh, of the business where it is very, very elusive uh, in, in the big musical productions because they're highly expensive to mount and if they work, they're fabulous, mm -hmm. uh, like Evita was. If they don't, uh, then a lot of money is lost, very elusive to Well, find. I think it's important uh, uh, to advertise. I think it's important that people know that it's, something is going on. I yeah. mean... Uh, uh, with anything. If you don't know about it, then people aren't, yeah. aren't going to go and yeah. see it. Can I ask you about the pair here, an interesting thing that's something that's interests me. As our guests come into this program, um, they've all got one curious little hang-up in a way. That they're all, it's rather, I guess, if Val Dunican was on, you see, and he's trying to get away from the sweaters and the, and the rocking chair bit. Yeah. Um, now, I know you're absolutely cheesed off with the, the macho image of, of Bowie <coughs> and so that's on. true, yeah. And you ought to be something else. <laughs> now, you'll be forever known as a Vita, <laughs> won't you? Listen, I can do that too. <laughs> Well, that's it. it, you see, you do this that is it, yes. to, to deflect me from the subject. Now, what I want to tell you is this, that I think you are terrific uh, in a Vita, and if I'd have created Bodhi and had such success all over the world, I'd be very proud of that. Why are you so embarrassed, really? I'm embarrassed, but want to get away from those two things. Well, I mean, if you are, I mean, Frank, if you are sort of hooked into a show, and the audience, I'll take the silly hat off, <laughs> If the audience said to you, no, we want to see so you, you do... You do want to be macho after all. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Go on. Yeah. If the audience said to you, we want to see you do a particular show, mm. I mean, you as a person or a, as a presenter or whatever you call yourself, uh, want to, to expand and, and try new things, you yes. know. I mean, I wasn't being funny there. And, uh, and particularly with actors, I mean, they like to think, I mean, trained actors like to think they can do everything Shakespeare yes. and so on, uh, which I've done. I've done classical work and so on, and... Uh, you know, I don't want to go down one true. avenue. Yes, it's it's the old typecasting. But thing. you won't shake off Bodhi, and you're certainly never going to shake off Evita, are you? Well, I don't know. You see this thing on Monday, maybe? <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's a good true. try at it. Yeah. Um, you know, I think it's that thing, as Lewis says, about, about being pigeon, pigeonholed into, yes. into things. One always wants to uh, try and broaden yes. horizons. Well, you mentioned this other thing on Monday, which uh, some people won't know about because they've just joined us since we last spoke about it. It's called A Night on the Town. It's on the television. And you're actually singing and dancing together. Lewis, I, did, mm. I mean, I, did you, do you dance? It's just not the kind of... No, I'm not a dancer. Um, <laughs> I'm... <laughs> it's not that bad. Kept I move. Toes. You're a right, mover. Right. I move. Yes. And I'm not a singer either, but I, I like to sing. Yes. And um, 
I just like fun, and it, it, that's what it is. Yeah. It's two hours of. If you enjoy sort of the Cole Porter Gershwin stuff, then yeah. it's definitely a switch on. Yes, yeah, lovely golden hour. Fun, yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. We'll see you a little later on. I've just been trying to work out this clock. It's terribly difficult. It's now 12 minutes to 8. Is that right? I guess so. I guess so. I haven't got a very good track record in the matter, I hasten to add. I think it is. I just don't believe, I'm afraid. <laughs> about a good friend of Debbie Rixon. Is that so? Do you know a Vera Twig with her acting? I She's do. a very thin woman. Not a <laughs> nice woman, nice woman. Not a common name. <laughs> Have you met Elaine Page and uh, Lewis Collins? I met Lewis Collins once at the Ideal Home Exhibition, and he was all in black, and I was all in black too, so <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, but dear. no, Elaine, I haven't. Hello, Elaine. Yeah, Lovely hi. jumper. Thank you. Might have that for Friday. Well, thanks, you're all in black. <laughs> it doesn't match your tie. No. Yeah. We might actually talk a little bit about their long-term futures. I don't know whether you can contribute anything to this, because they've both been smash hits in their own particular area, you with Bodie and you with Evita and other things. Um, what are you doing now? I mean, uh, there, there's talk of a film of Evita, tremendous competition. Will it take place? Will it be Minelli? Will it be Paige? I don't know. Will it be Streisand? What, what's the situation there? I don't know. I think it's all rather boring, really. I mean, it's going on and on and <laughs> oh, on. it's not if you're watching. It's fascinating <laughs> if you're watching. Mm. I keep saying, if it, you know, if they take much longer deciding who's going to play it and if they're going to make it at all, I shall be too old and have to play her mother or something. <laughs> <laughs> play it with a stick. Mm. I don't know. I'm, a, I'm at present... Uh, in the studio recording a, a, an album so that's keeping me quite busy at the moment and what sort of music is that those are big show music songs, uh, it, it's an album of theater songs um, yeah. from sort of dating from 65 to date yeah. which is sort of when I first embarked upon musical theater really so that's uh, the theme of the album and you're here with Lewis Collins because together you're in uh, a wonderful extravaganza where you're singing and dancing and uh, acting a night on the town on BBC television um, have you seen any of it? Fred? I haven't, no, other than the clip we've seen today. Oh, I see. And I'm afraid uh, I haven't actually... <laughs> <laughs> All I've seen you doing so far, I haven't seen you singing and I haven't seen you dancing. I've seen you very elegantly holding a cigar and a brandy. Is that most of your contribution to the epic? <laughs> no, she'll have to watch 9pm Monday. <laughs> yes, definitely. Lovely. But after that, what is going to happen to you? Because well, I know you're trying to shake off Bodhi and all that, and you have had a pedigree of acting before that that nobody, of course, ever remembers. Do you want to get back to that, to doing classics? And well, the only thing with doing classics, it normally <laughs> entails you taking a long season of the theatre and you sort of vanish out of people's minds, you know. I mean, the amount of people you can cover with a theatre show is... I mean, compared to one show of the professionals, it's 18 million viewers, yes. as you know. I mean, that's where you've got to stick. But I thought, I thought you wanted to get away from that a little bit. I mean, the theatre would mean that for you, wouldn't it? I mean, don't, you, you seem to be cheesed yeah. off with being in the public eye and being, uh, you know, driven that's up right. as this. You love it. Well, I, <laughs> <laughs> I did pantomime. No, I would, I mean, I want to do those sort of things, of course, but I mean, you have to stay, when the, when the ball's rolling, you have to mm. stay with it and keep mm. knocking it along, even though people are sort of typecasting you. I mean, I've got four films under consideration at the moment, but they are all action man type roles. Yeah. Um, so I've got into this singing thing, which is something I used to do. Mm. So I've gone right, you know, it's a complete circle. Yes. So I'm having a go at an LP as well, I haven't told her yet. <laughs> are you in, uh, what, what sign are you in? Are you Aries? No, I'm Pisces. Are you? Yes. You don't look very fishy. So I, w I always have to wait to the, to the end of <laughs> the, the, the last of, bit. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that, that's quite Hence good the then, hatch, actually. Oh, fishy. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> terribly good. So what are you then? You're, are you an elk? Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> this is my butcher, the stag. You know, the, the butcher, I mean. it, what, what, are you a Gemini, weren't you? That's right, yeah. Oh, I'm not getting much help from my friends today, is that correct? No, I don't think Around you are, me. especially in that hat. <laughs> I, I don't think you stand a chance. Actually, Gemini is, going, is, is one of the signs that's going through <sighs> tremendous change. I mean, if you're going to change images and things, this is the time to do it, but there will be disruption too. So you may have problems. That's you may it. have problems definitely in that hat. There's always a touch of disruption about your life, isn't there? I mean, you, you're, you're such a positive person that uh, uh, there's always a dash of trouble around the corner somewhere for you. I say, very it's strong, isn't it? Well, it keeps everyone on the toes, and myself included. Yeah. I've got you a very good job for you. There's, they want a new coat hanger at the Hilton. And I think, I think if you get an equity contract, you're in. Yeah. Well, thank you very, very much days. indeed for turning up today. And whatever the future holds in the next year, we hope uh, it will be uh, very happy for you indeed. And thank you very much indeed for coming. Thank you. This is overwhelming. I'm overwhelmed. Are you going to make a bold stroke? Where's the champagne? Well, I think so. I'll just go through the middle like that. I can't. Careful, mind your other hand. Be careful, God knows how. Well, it is sculpture. Yeah. Keep. Whoever you are, 
You have a problem. Oh, the marzipan is coming into sight. <laughs> That's my favourite. Well, I tell you what, we'll leave it just at that. You've, you've made the uh, incisive cut. And a very happy birthday Thank from you. all of us. Hey, how about yeah. happy birthday? Yeah. And to uh, David, David Icke. Yes. Tomorrow. For tomorrow. Yes. Bruce right. Hamill's here. He's only come for the cake, he says. <laughs> <laughs> And of all the things to cut up, what am I, what am I going to watch now? Anyway, um, well, that's been on, and I must say thanks to Woman Magazine who sent it to us. These sculptured uh, cakes are all the rage these days. And although I suppose the pastry is, the uh, icing is a little bit uh, of necessity reinforced concrete in a sense. It's very, very edible. And I must say we discover the cake inside is absolutely delicious. So we'll pass that round in a moment. And thank Elaine Page and Lewis Collins for being our guests this morning. A very good... Uh, day to you and the rest of the year. Happy birthday to you, especially. Look at me when I'm talking. To you. <laughs> and good night. Good night. Good morning to you all. <laughs>